Hey guys, it is Vivian to welcome back to another video, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and fantastic week, and a fantastic weekend. Um, you know, happy Easter for all, all those who celebrate it. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys a little bit about what I've been doing for Easter and things like that. So firstly, I'm going to quickly get set up for Livid Farm and um, head down to the Livid Farm Miggy place. So as most of you know, or some of you probably might not know, um, last year in high school, I was actually a part of a the high school drumline. So basically, if you don't know what a drumline is, um, it's, there's 14 people, and they all have different drums and things like that. Um, there's the snare drum, <coughs> there's a snare drum, which is just a single drum. There's a bass drum, which sounds really bassy, and a tenor drum, which is five different drums put together. So that makes up... Um, so that's four, five, so that makes up 12 out of the 14, and then the other two are the cymbals. So basically what we did was, um, seeing as this year, you know, I'm not actually in school anymore, um, generally you're not meant to be um, performing with the school drumline because you're not actually part of the school. But uh, some of the guys from the actual school drumline um, couldn't make it to a certain gig. So me and a few of my friends that were actually in the drumline last year um, that graduated, we got a phone call from the instructor asking us if we would like to perform at basically a thing called Easterfest, which was up in Toowoomba, in uh, you know in Queensland. And Easterfest is an annual um, an annual event, basically whereby oh, hold on a second, I got to get some log piles up in here. It basically it's like this Christian festival, and we got asked to play on the main stage um, in front of about two to three thousand people. I think it was. That's just a very rough guess. Um, anywhere between one thousand and three thousand. Let's just say that. So, you know, it wasn't a small crowd, um, but, you know, it was quite it was quite exciting because we managed to back up one of the main singers there, and she was, you know, she was lovely. She was so, so nice, and uh, her band was also very nice as well. Her name was Beck Lawton. I don't know if you guys uh, probably know who she is, but basically we backed her up. We um, kind of played the background music while she was singing, and, you know, it was a great time. That was on the Friday night, and... Um, we basically camped out a few of me and me and a few of my friends actually camped on this site. So basically there's this main imagine like a main area for like the fair and stuff like that. There's like fair, there's like different tents with uh different bands and stuff playing in them and it's just like a massive music festival and basically there's like this little campsite off to the side and you can t uh, pitch up a tent there and you can camp there for the night. So I did that with a few of my friends because last year uh we actually did the same thing. We went to Easterfest but I didn't actually camp out last year. I stayed in a motel with my parents, um, and uh, my main, my mates camped out last year. But this year, I was like, you know, why not? I'll join my friends and I'll camp out this year. So uh, I camped out and it was great fun. But yeah, so that was the first day, and then you know I could have gone home then if I wanted to, but I was going to stay for two nights. So that was the Friday night and the Saturday night. So uh, you know, throughout Saturday, we didn't really do too much. We kind of just uh, chilled around and ate some hectic cinnamon donuts. Imagine like a cinnamon donut. If you get both your hands and kind of make a circle with them, uh, I don't even know. It's like put your thumbs together and your fingers together to make a massive circle. Um, and then times that by two and that's the size of the cinnamon donut. So it was absolutely massive and it was probably the best donut I've ever had in my life. So I got, uh, you know, I got a couple of those because they don't really sell them anywhere else. So we basically stayed there Saturday, uh, Friday, Saturday night and then we ended up coming home on Easter Sunday. Um, so hopefully you guys had a awesome Easter weekend. But at the moment, I'm just doing some um, some livid farm as you can just tell. And I'm going to quickly show you, oh, I don't actually, I'm not going to show you my rewards because my goal for the Road to, road to Completion and uh, my goal for the second episode of Road to Completionist is actually to get 500,000 produce points. If you missed that video, be sure to leave a link to that on screen. Um, but in that video, I stated I'm trying to get uh, 500,000 produce made and all the quests completed before the next um, before the next road to completion. So I'm working on that, and you know I'm making some some pretty good progress, I believe. Now I'm also going to be getting 113 dungeoneering, so that's obviously the primal two hand. I've been doing the sinkholes every day, so sinkholes twice a day, as well as my daily dungeoneering challenge to get my uh, it's probably about 250k XP, I believe. I don't know. I just kind of roughly put that number together in my head. But you'll see I'm only 42,000 XP off of that 113, so I'm going to be getting that in about half an hour here when the sinkholes reappears. Um, and I'm going to go quickly grab that Primal 2 hand, and that's going to be another clip for you guys in the Road to Completionist. And once I'm done with this video as well, I'm actually going to be, um, you know, uh, finishing off the video. Or obviously, I've got the max video to make, so that video is nearly actually finished, guys. So hopefully, you guys are waiting for that and, uh, you know, eager to see that video. Uh, you know, seeing as some people couldn't actually make it to my max party, I'm actually going to get some clips of them, you know, um, saying whatever they want, and I'm going to put it in the video. So I'm waiting for a few of those clips to come through, as well as... Um, 
you know, just trying to, well, we're trying to actually organize for people to record. So, um, you know, that's, the video's coming along. It's about five or six minutes in total now. You know, I put some, uh, put quite a bit of effort into that video. So hopefully you guys enjoy that when it comes out. And, you know, that will be out probably in the next two or three days. But once I finish this video, I'm going to continue on making some more videos. And one of those videos is actually going to be a uh, waterfall quest for 2007 Scape. And you know, if you if you play uh, 2007 and you like watching my RuneScape videos, you know, thanks for doing that. Um, and you know, doing the waterfall quest when you're level three is a major advantage because you get 30 attack and 30 strength straight off the bat. So you don't even have to train to get your adamant uh, skimitar. All you have to do is do a quest, and you get it instantly, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I didn't know that until like this year or last year. So call me a noob, um, but you know, it's definitely worth doing if you uh, play 2007. Yeah, but I'm just going to continue doing this a little time, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for future videos. But apart from that, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.